All right, it's Masters Week, everybody. I got my Azalea shirt on. It's my favorite week of the year. And we're going to talk about a shot a lot of these tour players are going to have going into the tournament. And uh, it's the green running away from you, down grain. How in the world am I going to stop this shot? And you'll see a lot of the tour players this week put in a 64 degree wedge or a 60 degree wedge to try to spin it more because of all the slopes. If you haven't been to the Masters, the slopes at Augusta are massive. You could actually ski the 10th hole if you wanted to, if there was snow there, because that's how much of a vertical drop it is. And then the greens are just all over the place as well. So when you're watching on TV and wondering why they're trying to hit a certain shot, you can't see all that slope. So this isn't tremendous slope, but we're gonna use this as an example. So a lot of times you would see somebody set up to this shot, play a normal shot, and then it just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. And that actually had a little bit of spin to it. But I'm gonna show you maybe one of the most requested shots I get asked, how do you play that? And here it is. I've got my lob wedge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna get my bottom two grooves as close to being underneath this ball as possible without moving it. Number two, when I take it back, I'm trying to hit that exact same spot that I just had and then just hold it off right here. Almost like a ping pong shot where you're just kind of hitting and stopping. So let's see if, if we can make this ball stop a little, a little bit faster than that other one using the other method. So get it really close to underneath. I've got soft arms. See how quick that ball stopped? Okay, let's try another one. That actually flew a little bit further than I wanted, but once again, soft arms. I've got that at least two grooves underneath this ball and just stops real close. So this is the way you hit this shot. You've got to be very confident to pull this off. So don't, don't go play a tournament and go, wow, I'm going to try this new shot that I uh, just saw on the video. You want to get that club as close to underneath that ball without moving it. Now, if we move it, that's a penalty. But right now, I'm just setting it right underneath it. Soft hands. And that's a super checker right there. I actually checked it too much. So try that. Eat a pimento's cheese sandwich. Having Azalea and watch the greatest golf tournament in the world next week.